happy Sunday. I just changed out of my reading clothes. I'm back in my cozies. Um, I have to explain myself. To explain myself, yesterday I was just exhausted, like literally exhausted and like on the verge of illness. Actually, Friday was I was exhausted and on the verge of illness, but yesterday there, all I could do was sleep all day and that's what I did. And I, period. And I was like, it was such, it was like a hard choice, but I couldn't even make the choice to edit or not. Like my, I just couldn't even move my body. So I got a really great rest and got ready today and did my first set of readings in the teepee. So that seal has been broken and that um, space has been activated in that way. So now I do have to edit last week's vlog. And that's what I'm up to. And there's just no ways about it. Like, I could wish that I was doing a million other things. But all I have is what's in front of me. So same shit, different day. I'm being present. I'm doing the, the next, the very next thing. And um, you ever gotten a Meow Wolf postcard before? Yeah. I'm blessed. How was your weekend? How's it going? Do you forgive me? Good evening. It's just me and the puzzle. Nate's on um, teeth duty. Just taking a couple moments to sort these puzzle pieces. We watched migration tonight. It's just been chill. I'm just, I was just happy to get the vlog up, you know? I can breathe a sigh of relief once a week when the vlog is up. So hopefully y'all are watching that. And yeah, I think I just want to settle in with Nate tonight. Maybe we'll watch an episode of Bridgerton. What's Bridgerton? It's a show that we watch. It's a period piece. How much years have you watched it for? How many years? Um, I started watching it the year Daphne was born. How many years? Three years. And actually, they're, one of the main characters' names is Daphne. But I didn't know that before I named my child that. That we had that name picked out. Out! You picked it out because of this, like, video of somebody named Daphne. We didn't mm -hmm. need a baby. No, but we did think it was funny when on um, 30 Rock she was like, Hi, I'm Daphne. We thought that was funny. Hi, Daphne. Good morning. I got through one morning page before we had to bring Max to school, so I'm about to resume. It just feels like I need to ground in this week. So before I get back to my my writing, I'm gonna make some blue lotus tea and have a prayer. I'm gonna choose a card for myself. The energy of the day. <laughs> my bae! My bae, my bae, my bae. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you were going to come for me, but of course you did. Thank you, cannabis. I love you so much. Ah, feels good to be loved. Let me tell you that. Running low on the nogs. So we picked up some new nog. And now I am set. Let's see. It's going to be a full moon this week, but I don't think I'm going to pull this out just yet. I do like to honor the moons with my little... Sets, but I think let me pull the ritual salt and um, the protective eye because yesterday's pull from the prism deck was protection, and I am feeling that pretty heavy still. Okay, here we go. All right, so my word is still surrender, protection. Um, just want to cover myself with the necessary armor and like offense in order to fully open my heart to receive and I know that cannabis is here to help me lean into that abundance as always and so it is call on the magic of blue lotus thank you for your subtle knowing and your remembrance of what's ancient and true. 
so it is. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to my pages and just stay holy this morning. Stay offline, stay holy. Protect my vision. Protect my heart. Protect my womb. I just finished my pages. I finished them in Daphne's room. We've been vibing in Daphne's room this morning and it's just so sweet in here. Um, really like tuning into the inner child and feeling grateful to be a mother today and feeling grateful to be at home with my daughter today. That's not always the case. Sometimes I'm just like rushing around trying to get my stuff done despite this huge privilege. So I just feel attuned totally attuned and totally aligned I feel like my plant allies came for me cannabis blue lotus I'm sipping that now I've got half of a cup left the taste is becoming familiar you know like I could maybe pick out its notes in in like a blend its messaging is coming becoming familiar um I'm like feeling very held and clear and I'm feeling, um, How many? three, one, two, three. Uh -huh. That's your age too. Uh -huh. I'm feeling like, um, slow in a good way. I'm feeling like present is what I will say. No, I'm feeling present I and I feel like I have it. enough time to have the experience that I want to live. And I'm trusting in the abundance of my desired experience. And I really feel some type of way about the morning pages. Like, it was. I think it's a combination of everything. But I feel... Um, like the importance of the practice. And I feel the impact of the practice. And so I'm going to keep doing the practice. I deserve it, you know, like I deserve this daily alignment because I just feel so equipped. I feel all of, and I feel and I see all the opportunities and possibilities in front of me for the day and I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel like whatever I choose next will be the correct thing and that there will be time for everything. So anyway, we're going to keep hanging out in her room because it's just lovely in here. It's just like sweet in here. Look at this chica. That's my baby. <laughs> You look so cute. Look at me. Her toes are up. I love being in a girl's room. I grew up in a girl's room. Hello. I love it in here. And um, there's a there's like a Pinterest project that I've had on my mind for a while. And um, I've collected the recyclable material in order to do it. And it's also been sitting out for a bit. So, and it feels like the day, like I had so much fun last week painting my signs and just doing something small, but creative. Um, so I want to keep those like projects rolling, those sort of like homemade things going. Yeah. So we're, I'm gonna like start to figure that out while we're vibing. Happy Monday. This little altar.
Happy birthday, Daphne. Happy birthday, Daphne. Yeah, so Daphne's birthday is actually in the winter. She just demands the birthday treatment once in a while. This ROI playlist was hitting just right. I decided to work on my vlog in the comfort of Rex's room. I'm gonna pop some fries in the oven. It's making burgers. I'm so grateful. And um, we've just had a good day, you know? We really set a good tone this morning. And I've been riding the wave. Sound off in the comments. Do you vote for crinkle cut? Or a waffle. I'm a waffle girly myself, plus they season these. So they're a little bit more flavorful. I put off my gardening till evening and the weather is not really as cute as it was in the day, but I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I'm gonna make a goal to just go out there a little bit. Just a little bit will be helpful. And I do have an email I need to get out. Are you on my email list? But it's pretty like drag and drop because I'm going through each of my, um, I'm going through each of my eight self-healing courses in like the same fashion. So I don't have to think too hard because I've made the content. It's been there. So I really just need to switch everything over to the third eye because we're going over the third eye starting tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, this hasn't been broken. Oh. Guys, I'm like feeling really disappointed in myself right now. I just like pulled my back, like not like being like dumb, <laughs> like trying to pull some grass out of this bed and it like actually hurt my back and I'm like I'm at a loss I don't know what to do it's still daylight I like really wanted to get through this bed and start the other bed and I just like I'm like so mad at myself you know because everything is going really well and there's not like a complete rush like I definitely have like my timeline but I just feel like dumb I need that motion of bending in order to like do this work and it like really is just me. I don't know right now. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm still getting it. If the music's on, I'm still dancing. At least I can still dance. I have a concert next week, y'all. Okay, chillin' in bed, Nate's heating up the heat pack for me. I've been alternating ice and heat. Um, we are watching Bridgerton, we're on the third episode of this third season. No spoilers, I'm just, I'm just like struggling a bit because Nate's like, rest, you have to rest, the best thing you can do is rest, and I'm like, literally... I have to be in the garden. Like, literally, the only thing I have to do on my to-do list is not rest, is move. I'm just trying to, like, assess that all. And as you saw, like, I can, like, do many movements. I can't, I just can't do this, like, one specific, like, pulling, bending movement. But, um, but there's so much more I can access if I'm creative. Oh, check me in this blue light. Let me show me up right now. Yeah, I always 
please go to this deck for love. Okay, love and support. Isn't that finish line? <gasps> I kept coming from the secret union. Only the oneness of love and the lover is eternal. Surrender your heart into this union for all else in this world is momentary. Good morning, all. It's fully Tuesday. I am in bed. I have the heat pad on my back. It basically took the night off. Um, I'm going to be okay. It was just like such a jarring warning, you know. It's like crazy, especially with your physical body, how like everything can change in an instant. And it's just so humbling basically I was extremely humbled last night um anyway I can't like harp on it too much longer yes I have injured my back it's not as bad as it could be I still have a lot of movement I'm not bedridden but I do have an email to get out I'm introducing the third eye um series this morning for the next two weeks and I'm very excited about that this is one of my favorite modules out of the eight because it's just like one of the most sort of like exciting in terms of mysticism and magic we're talking about meditation we're talking about dreams we're talking about um synchronicities we're talking about symbolism these are all of the things that I got really into very quickly when I started journaling and um tracking signs and symbols and I walked through my whole process on how I started doing that within one of the videos one of the main videos so um I love this more like cosmic conversation because I this is where I feel like a lot of people haven't met me before um not like me but I'm just saying this is one of the areas of conversation where I struggled to find people who understood or wanted to discuss this in the beginning of my like sort of like uh self-healing and spiritual phase was the actual magic shit lore um myth archetypes symbols um it was like more stuff where either people believed in the synchronicities or it was just like coincidence and not even noticed at all. So this is very much about perception and subtle energies. I'm stoked to bring it forward. So I'm going to, um, I was like going to just jump into my email. I'm letting Daphne watch TV this morning. I don't, usually my schedule is letting her watch TV in the afternoon, like after we've had a full day together and just have like a little afternoon break, but I'm like... Due to the circumstances, um, I just need to be focused this morning and we can get some outside time this afternoon. So I was going to just jump right into work, but I'm not. I remember how good it felt to sort myself and sort my mind yesterday in the morning pages. So I'm allowing myself that time and space, which is so third eye, time and space. And um, and then I'll get to it. As I said, it's drag and drop, so it's not too complicated. Hi. Some time has definitely passed. I'm getting ready to hit send on my email. And it also doubles as a social post. So I'm getting ready to do all my posting. But then I get to get off my electronics for the day. And hopefully go outside. I haven't moved much. I've just been in my bed. But I know my back is already healing. I put comfrey on it last night. I put CBD on it. All of my medicines are here for me. So... Everything is happening. I'm just like very sleepy, but everything is happening. Daphne coaxed me outside. I brought I brought my deck out. I'm gonna re-pull. Not my sunnies. I brought her altar out. I'm not quite finished painting it. This is what the outside is like. It's kind of a mix between this salmon pink and a fuchsia pink. I can't wait to make more of these. Like this is just the first one I've done, but I can't wait to get really creative with with the shapes and the openings and all of that so anyway i'm gonna paint the inside i'm gonna paint it this blue color and she just wanted me to vibe while she was um biking so i brought it out figured i could at least be outside i feel Mama. like it's better to be creatively moving than not at all i've given up on the phone i did my posting but not as much as i normally would and i just want to continue divesting from instagram i just don't care Thank you, Instagram, if you're watching this.
How cute is that looking? I'm not sure what to do next. I definitely want to put like a votive candle in there and maybe hang something from the ceiling. I, de I want to decorate these panels. More decoration, but I love blue on the inside. That's so cute. Mom, you did it! Is it a song? Uh -huh. I am mama looking at you. It's blue too. Do you like that? Wow, it was between these two. I've been praying for opportunities and to just be able to see the opportunities, so I dig, I definitely dig. I love it. It's actually like, this feels so, this feels so open channel. I do. I know it's possible to check the forecast, but I don't. So little did I know putting off the gardening for the afternoon would mean it was going to pour and everything was going to be soaking wet. Y'all, it's all okay. I just get stressed because I'm like, if my seeds were in the ground, they'd be getting watered. But Nate just like popped home for lunch randomly and I was like about to take my little nap. He's like, just rest, just rest. He's encouraging me to rest, which like is so unlike him. Because he will push through anything and, like, get the job done. So I'm My feeling so confused. I'm feeling that. such mixed feelings, but... I'm literally yeah. surrendering to everyone. Yeah. There's enough time. There's enough time. Home from the grocery store. Got at least today, tomorrow, and Thursday's meals. I have not... I usually shop once, but, like, once a big meal a week. Big trip a week. I have not been doing that. Literally last week we went every single day. It's so crazy, but that's like where I was at. But and I just like don't have the capacity and I'm not making the space to like think ahead. And I'm just feeling extremely humbled and like, you know, I released the third eye course today. And I usually try to like I take it as a sign that whatever I'm teaching, whatever I'm like pushing, promoting, whatever signs um come in a reading for someone else are like also meant for me. And so it, it just feels like ironic and it feels funny that I would be like, everyone learn how to be still and like follow the signs and like follow the symbolism, but not me. I'm going to like do whatever I want. So I'm always like put into that arena. I think I need to just take notes. I just need to like let it all go, like for real, for real. And I'm very close, I, I'm very, very close to taking some cannabis. I'm not going to smoke. I'm still going to reserve the smoking experience um, for communion. I'm still going to reserve the smoking experience for communion on Thursday. But I probably will take a couple of drops of the um, THC tincture that Nate and I made for that like full-bodied wellness medicine and i'm just like i'm just like uh i'm like so torn about everything like i feel like i'm failed the attunement you know i'm like struggling i'm struggling in lots of different ways but yeah um but i also like know it's been extremely successful and i've like truly done my best and i don't think that it's right to like hold off on healing my body when i know and teach that cannabis is such a potent medicine it like doesn't make sense for me to hold off on that <sighs> and i just have to like fully release and i think that cannabis will help me do that especially in the mental space so I still have my comfrey salve from last season and I had Nate rubbing that on my back last night along with some CBD oil, but um, I might go out to the garden and clip a couple of those comfrey leaves, make like an infusion to drink and to also take a couple leaves for like a, a an herbal bath. And, and I'm gonna do that, some herbal comfrey bath. Hearts, spices, it's marshmallow season, little crackers were on sale. I love to peruse the, the like,
discount section. I check that shit every time. Got more turmeric capsules. I opt for like a turmeric capsule over ibuprofen anytime I can. Sparkle water, we're addicted. Let's go get some comfrey. Such a cutie. All right, my tea is on. I ended up adding some cinnamon because I just love cinnamon. It's so grounding for me. Um, oat straw for the nervous system and nettle, because nettle. <laughs> um, and I'm just chopping up some more comfrey leaves for my like uh, herbal tea, bath tea. Um, and I just, you know, I, I know how it must sound and I know I'm like doing a lot of complaining and I'm just trying to be like honest in that. And I also know how like very simple it would be for me to shift, but it actually isn't so simple. I'm like missing my ally cannabis that um, helps me shift. Anyway, all that to say, I think that the cannabis is hitting, even though I took like a micro, a micro amount. She's already working in my system. I'm already feeling the unity. I'm already feeling grateful. I'm like feeling so many ways about my garden because, you know, I don't have seeds in the ground. And yet, and yet the one plant that's popping off the literally one plant that I can see from here that's popping off in the garden is comfrey. And she's here for me when I need her right now. This like freak happening. And like that's the plant. That's the way. I can surrender and trust that like who I need will be around to take care of me. It's so beautiful and I'm already shifting and I'm gonna let myself shift. I'm, I really don't want to stay like where I'm at. I don't want to stay stuck where I'm at. I want to believe that like quick healing is possible, that I can just like be back out there, that I can have like a grateful time of rest and that the slowing down will help me to speed up later in the week. So I just, I'm kind of in disbelief. I'm not because I know this is the magic of plants. This is the magic of plants. That the one that I need, the one that I can call on is available for me. Thank you, Comfrey. Thank you, Comfrey. Thank you, Comfrey. She's so beautiful. Wow. And so it is. Daphne was missing me so hard while I was recovering in the bath, so she made me this get well picture. Well, it is 8.43. I have not really had a moment to myself or to care for my own self. It's not unusual, but um, it's just challenging right now. Um, I'm going to light an incense. Just the scent profile of things is helpful for me to ground. We got a new box of nog. Did I show you that? <sighs> Just doing my best. Today I've kind of called all my plans off. And by kind of, I mean I have. So that I can just stay focused, I can stay present, I can have the space that I need to get things done so I don't feel like I need to rush. Tomorrow will be the first cannabis communion here. So um, I just want to feel fully prepared for that and, and make sure my family is like, taken care of, you know. Tomorrow's also la Rex's last day of school. <sighs> so yeah, the intention continues to be surrender. I pulled open channel yesterday. Surrender to the opportunities in front of me. Move you, knock you down a peg and choose from this prism oracle. I pulled this on Sunday and wow, did I need it. I release control and 
surrender to the flow of love that surrounds me. I release control and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. Hmm. Such a crapshoot with these. Yay. Growth, baby. Absolutely. Cheers to growth. Cheers to the green ones. This was going to be the other one that I was kind of waffling between. Let's have them both out because they're cute. Trust and growth. I have another song about trust. I trust in myself. I trust in the process. I trust. This is me sorting out my to-do list. I have had this habit since like school times where I will like uh, pick out my fingernails with the pen. Anyone do that? Anyway, having a snack, heating my heating pad, sitting down, getting back to it. Decided to pull a card of the day and wouldn't you know that I got Delicacy, which is one of the third eye cards. Daphne and I just picked up a couple of pillows on Facebook Marketplace. Let's put and them in the teepee. Also Okay, so there was a, a set of four. They're not like truly a set. They're all different, but they're all lacy. So Daphne, show yours. This little, this is the smallest one. Uh -huh. Little frills and such. And this is the smallest one. And yeah, this one is like a broader pattern. Mandala effect. And this one's the little one. This one is a little more mandala but pointed and then and this one back it up this one is like um a little bit stiff but it's more of like a quad uh -huh. pattern so uh -huh. i'm just gonna and set them out show them these. not right now daphne <laughs> basically i chose the lace because that was like available but you know like so many things in here are like hodgepodge we have red we have orange we have blue we have floral so i just thought like the lace the cream lace would like neutralize um and also just be like a theme that i could carry on i'm not sure what to do though because it looks funny i thought it would be nice to have some pillows on the like open seats since they're just wooden and I can get a little uncomfortable after a while but I don't think these are the ones and I need a couple on the couches to make it look normal at all so um I'm not sure if that really did anything but I want it to yeah and like just also the way that the couches are both like different colors is I don't know I don't love it but Maybe that helped a little bit. Maybe that brought it together just a little bit. So yeah, first communion tomorrow night. I'm not sure if it's going to be like we need the chimnea or if we'll all be warm enough. I should probably put that on the dress code, like dress in layers. It could be cool. Did I do something? Did I snap with this? It'll be cute to like keep collecting them. I feel like I have a theme to work off of now. I can keep collecting the lace. We gotta go get Rex. We had a popcorn party and I was working on my laptop over here. I just was gonna start the email, but I ended up finishing it for the day. So, ugh, I fear the unsubscribe button. People be unsubscribing left and right, but I'm like speaking my truth and I'm like shifting over there from Instagram, you know? So, sign up for my email list. 
not some of the stuff is about local gatherings, but a lot of it is also still for my online Hermes. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. Gotta get Rexy out. Y'all want an outfit of the day? You wanna go first? <laughs> What's your shirt? My shirt is mushroom. Yep. And what about your pants? They're white. Cargos. And my shoes are sparkly. Sparkle shoes. <laughs> and what do you have in your hand? What did you find on the walk? A feather. Turn it. Nice. Okay, I'll show them my outfit now. Okay, and for me, I went to bed in space buns and I woke up in space buns. I'm wearing my Izzy's from Hi. I Buy Direct. I'm wearing um, mushroom earrings, so we match in that way. These are by my friend Carrie. This, this little like beaded choker. Um, a yellow tee, H&M. This green, not duster, but maybe, um, like long cardi with pockets from Target. And my Synergy Organics pants. While I was making dinner, Rex and Daphne started a dance battle. And of course, I have to be the judge. So they were getting it. <laughs> they're so funny when they do this this is one of my favorite things and I'm taking them to their first concert in the summer and I hope that they'll be as expressive in public as they are at home we'll see mm. Mm. today's the day full moon and Sag cannabis communion I've been dreaming of this day I did my first cannabis communion. It was more of like a workshop. Uh, no, I don't know if that's true. At the Red Earth Herbal Gathering last summer. Um, but it was delightful and like something I experience often solo. So I um, felt called to bring it forward as a monthly circle. And I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to be back with my plant. I'm excited to consume today, to um, commune today, to pray, and to be in the presence of those who honor and revere the plant as well. Special sacrament. So I'm just going to like kind of move quietly today, just try to stay focused on anything I'm hearing from both Blue Lotus and Cannabis. It feels so good to be in the bed. Oh, it's Rex's last day of school, too, so I get to pick him up early. Okay, let's go check the mail. You look so cute, girl. Let's see what we got. Um, Twiggy's Med, not that exciting. Card offer, junk. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one, y'all. A crude wash came, which is also my moisturizer in the summer. We got more card offers. Oh, our favorite pizza place. <laughs> Coupons from our favorite pizza place, yes. We got a Ranger Rick Jr. This one's for Rex. Oh, what's up here? Two for Rex? Okay, well one is, oh, they say both say for Rex. My mom gets them highlights, but he's getting two different kinds of highlights, I guess. I think this is a baby shower announcement. Let's party. Cute. I could probably make it. All right, that was our mail haul for the day. We are wrapping up at Target. I just dropped this camera for the way too manyth time. Like it's literally about to fa fall apart. I can't believe it, and I'm so ugh about it. So this clip is very heavy, and you have very light hair, so it might not work. Why? Because it's very heavy. And your hair is not. So you get a little unicorn, a little horse girl, you get some stickers, I want to get these I in here. one tattoo, and then this is your candy. Thank you. Wow. 
three candies. Which one do you want to eat right now? I want to eat this one. You can just eat one. So, so do you want? So this one. Okay. I just pray that I start making enough money to like fix and upgrade my shit. But Nate would argue that I need to learn to take care of my stuff before I can upgrade. Which is why I have an iPhone 8, y'all. <sighs> gratitude, 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 gratitude. Gratitude. Okay, I gotta go to the next spot. We gotta get the grocery pickup. <sighs> that about took it out of me. My back is definitely on the mend but I have to be taking it easy. You know I stay on the sugar, but I am doing like a pretty good job. Uh, I'd like to think I'm doing a good job of like choosing alternatives and not completely binging. Cute the last week eating like a whole dub bag of chocolates. It was my moon! And that's what Nate bought. But anyway, I have tried this ice cream um, like, some things are just, like, worse than others, you know what I mean? Like, generally, like, just straight chocolate is okay. Do you care about this? Is this a boring thing? Um, but, like, ice cream, so if there's, like, sugar mixed with dairy or, like, sugar mixed with, um, like, gluten, so let's say, like, animal crackers or something, those kind of things, like, really set off my allergies. It's, like, I can't have them in combo. I can't have all the things in combo. So, anyway, ice cream, regular ice cream is not good for me anymore. But I found this brand, zero sugar added, zero added sugar, whatever. It's like keto friendly, which I don't really care about right now, but could be cool. And I found mint chip. So I tried their ice cream bars last time and those were yummy. Something was like not quite right still, but they had, I didn't know they had like just straight up ice cream. So I tried this one, although I, there's also one that's um, like triple chocolate brownie that I definitely want to try. But I'll let you know how this goes. And so it also means it's like fridge clean out day, unfortunately, which will make my countertops dirty, but it'll be worth it. This food waste is so sad. Don't look away. Look away. This, this is what I'm wearing. A data and these pants, these rainbow pants. Rainbow pants? My toes. Show them your bow, your bread. She wanted her love clip in today. And it was very nice. And what's your baby name? Why did you book your gamma? Okay. It's time for a gummy taste test. I'm not high right now. I know that was like code in the beginning of the vlogs, but I have not had any cannabis, but I might just take a little. Thanks, babe. Um, all of the like healthy gummies were like on clearance at Target. Lilies, which I've tried before, I got the sour gummy worms. Um, Surf sweets. Are they called Surf sweets anymore? Or Smart sweets. I think Smart sweets. I get the like watermelon ones. Those are always good. But I have not tried this brand, and I and they're covered. So Alani, Alani gummies, and it said smoothie, and I just liked that kind of like creamy imagery they smell delish opening them up the flavors are apple grape strawberry mango and mixed berry um it's a better for you snack it still has sugar in it like listed as its own ingredient but it is like it is way down there okay what does it look like okay i love that they're like a nice full size because all these like companies are making them so tiny Yes, you may. This is yours. Okay, so let's see what I'm... I love this size. I do like this. Okay, I'm guessing that this is like a mixed berry, but let's find out. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fuck with it. It is like creamy somehow. It's like smooth. It is like a smoothie. Like, they did it right with that. Now, let me grab one that looks different. I couldn't tell you what that was. Probably an expert. 
This is strawberry mango. Here, babe. Just by looks, I can't tell. I cannot really tell what's what by looks. I don't know if I got all the flavors or not. Like, I, these look all the same. So, um, let me eat one more. Mm. Mm. That one could have been apple grape. I don't know. But I like them. These are like very meaty for a gum for a healthy gummy. And the texture is not too bad. It says gluten free, one one gram, seven grams of fiber per serving, and yummy taste. Okay. Approved. Um, I don't know what system we've been rating it on, but I would give these That was just for fun. Um I would say like 7.5 to 8 out of 10. But that literally means something. <laughs> I like them. I'll buy I would buy them again on clearance. I mostly buy this candy on clearance. Unless my friends are coming over the night if I buy it full price because my queens get whatever they want. I am entering my body and mind and spirit are entering the portal of the ceremony container. I am showered and refreshed. Some of my adornments are on. I'm gonna switch this clip out for my spider clip, which was gifted to me by a friend who's coming tonight. Um, so all my allies are on me. I'm starting to brew some tea. You know it's the last day of my Blue Lotus attunement. Technically, I broke the fast a couple of days ago with some of my oil for my injury, but I have yet to like ingest my smoking, which is like a, why is she screaming like that? Which is very potent and um, intense form of ingestion. So I'm really looking forward to that feeling again and to do it with sisters but I will be brewing some blue lotus tea for the ceremony. So I'm gonna put something together. It is gonna be evening. Maybe I'll just make sort of like a sleepy time thing. Mugwort. This mugwort is old as fuck. <laughs> I need a mugwort. Hopefully it grows in my garden. Um, I just had an idea, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna do mugwort. I'm gonna grab a little lavender. And I wonder about hibiscus. Would that be too wild? Hmm, I'm gonna think about it. It's 444. I am getting supper ready while simultaneously getting ceremony ready. It's the same thing though. They're the same thing. When you live like a ceremony. I figured, well, my family loves tomato soup, and I figured if I can feed them, I can also feed my guests a little something, because it is a funny hour at 6.30, so I don't know if people are, like, rushing to get here or what, so I would love to have some soup to feed. That's what communion is, right? Jesus would break bread. Today is supposed to be cosmically blessed something happening between Venus and Neptune and Jupiter so I also love to make this meal and make a wish on the bay leaf that goes into it so you'll find me doing that and just kind of maximizing the energy of the day I decided on Tulsi, I used up my Tulsi, so Tulsi, Lavender, and Blue Lotus. I have a thing about the number three in Blue Lotus, or the Lotus, so, um, and third eye, you know, I'm still holding that thread with all of you on the interwebs, so yeah, three feels cosmic and aligned for tonight. Mm, this one looks gorgeous. Maybe a double wish. Why not? Three joints.
Yeah, that four cards. Yeah. Ooh, fail. That's you. Da 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 da. That's that. Now you also take away this. Okay, I have. I successfully lost. I'm in the teepee. There's half an hour till people arrive. My kids have been in here. So I'm just going to tidy up. I'm going to switch the altar up completely and um, just prepare. I'm not going to have the cauldron. I have it arranged a bit differently so I pulled everything in closer so that we are a little bit more tight knit this could come in even more this could come in a little bit more wow that's so cute okay um, I'll probably move the some of the pillows over there so that people feel like they are comfortable if they're on the chairs. Um, started putting some snacks out. Have all the joints, cannabis marked with rhinestones, hemp knot, my full moon incense holder out, ritual salt for protection. I'll be pulling a card. I have my notes, but I'm probably not going to use them. This is the, one of the songs that I'll be introducing. Song of my sister, the moon. Oh, I got to get my drum. Um, this is the prism card I pulled, but I haven't pulled my own follow your heart because I want to just be an energy of whatever is the collective pull. So yeah, I'm going to go probably grab the tea. So tea, mint, because I'm going to decorate a little bit. Um, tea, mint, lighter, soup, tea, mint, lighter. Priscilla came all decked out in this gorgeous clip in her flowing red gorgeous hair and this is what the updated altar looks like with some additional bud and add-ons. This is what our food spread looks like. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. I maybe I won't start a fire though. Oh yeah. No. Okay. That, no. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Like, you're not twenty. Like you're <laughs> Just want to give you those deep lunar vibes. Priscilla gifted me that oyster, so that was really special to add to the scene. And we were in a full-on after party, just catching up. It's so great to be in community, y'all. Super, super grateful. <laughs> summer break, baby. It's officially summer break. I feel so good. My kids let me sleep in until like about 8.30, which was great because... Laney and Shane didn't end up leaving till like midnight or after midnight. Damn, last night was actually perfect. It was actually perfect. Like the mix of people was perfect. Everything flowed perfectly. The perfect lessons were integrated and like um, tucked into that experience. Good morning. I got my clip in. I'm chilling on the deck. I'm sending my voice memos to Julia. My chai is brewing. It's summer break. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to bring my kids anywhere. I can just spend the day vibing with them, cleaning up the house from last night, and um, like remaining in the presence and the slowness of cannabis. Oh, I'm so grateful to be back with her. But also, like, after a break, you know, you're just so mindful as to not abuse the relationship and to stay integrity with the balance. Boundaries, and that was something we were really talking about last night. Um, and then editing the vlog. I'm like free, and it's also a three-day weekend for my husband. I just feel I feel incredibly free. Shout out to the voice memo friends. Shout out to the long distance besties. Feel free to 
leave a little shout out in the comments. This went on and on. And I just was like taking my sweet time. It's summer, dude. And um, I pulled so many cards last night. I ended up with Amanda's deck. So I get to revel in checking them out a little closer while I, they're in my possession. And summer school is in session. We're starting with Ohm, The Sound of Creation. Oh, this is good. Damn, this is a good bitter. I love this. I love ACV though. Mm. Wow. Like, you want to pucker up. I love sour candy, but sour candy doesn't love me. Bitters loves me. You know what? We normally keep up on our stovetop, but I had just let it go for too long. And in some sectors of feng shui, it's actually like the center of your wealth. So I wanted to keep that nice and tidy. I love that little view of the curtain blowing in the wind and where my cups are all housed. And to see that celestial map up by my big giant aloes and the monstera had unfurled a leaf or actually two earlier in the week. They're touching the ceiling. I'll probably move it. Um, a little side, side view of the fridge with our own. So yeah, it just felt so good to like deeply clean and take my time and not have to be anywhere and tidy up the house. And look what I found, an old surrender sticker. Don't you think this is mugwort? Having not like identified mugwort in a while, I'm not sure the last time I've seen it grow wild. I'm like, this is her. There's some other, but although I planted her like back on that row, so this feels a little rogue and a little fun. And I'm so excited to watch her. So I'm gonna get my plant app out. The iPhone 8 don't, won't just identify it by picture, it's the one I missed so many. But yeah, I'm gonna. Um... I'm gonna see what that says. That would be so incredible. I also really happy about that. Okay, it's three three three, and the phone app says, "Ready for the reveal?" Artemisia vulgaris, mugwort baby. Actually, it also says fever fuel. Let's find out. Fever few versus mugwort, but I didn't plant fever few. Wouldn't it be more likely that it's mugwort? Old English word mort, which means moth, because the herb has traditionally been used to repel moths from woolen garments. Lobed once or twice with rounded lance shaped segments, the leaves are bright green on top, sometimes purple and whitish underneath. The fibers don't need texture. The plant generally resembles other plants in the mint family. 
Let's focus Where does this go, everyone? We hope so. Where does this go? 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 Where Unless there's something amazing. Really Unless there's something amazing. All right, y'all. I'm in the bathroom. Daphne's down. I'm going to light some candles. Get in the bath and get to editing. Another week in the books. Can't wait to see what unfolds next week. I'm in a much better place now. Thank you all for watching and supporting. I hope to see you on the... Third Eye Chakra Call on Tuesday. It's free on YouTube. Bliss be with you. Spider out. <laughs>